trying to delve into what makes another real life or fictional character tick, how they see the world, and even how they tie their shoelaces usually requires countless hours of dedication, examination, and experimentation from an actor. However, on some occasions, thespians are required to overcome other obstacles outside of the typically arduous task of character building, which only serve to make their eventual turns on the big screen even more magnificent. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movie performances even more impressive when you know the truth. Number 10. Sylvester Stallone risked it all to be Rocky. Rocky. Back in the early 1970s, Sylvester Stallone was not the same global superstar and all-round action badass we know and love today. Far from it, in fact. The struggling actor was so broke after starring in The Lords of the Flatbush that he had no choice but to sell his dog or the poor thing would have no doubt starved in his care. However, the young thespian eventually found himself captivated by Chuck Wepner's performance against Muhammad Ali during a fight, and soon spent three and a half days writing the screenplay for what would ultimately become Rocky. He then astoundingly refused to sell the script to producers, despite them offering him a whopping $360,000 for it, in exchange for someone else to play the starring role. In the end, the producers begrudgingly played ball with Sly, giving him the chance to play the lead. Stallone would go on to give an Academy Award-nominated performance as Rocky Balboa, all while shooting the feature on a ridiculously low budget. The movie itself would go on to win three Oscars, but it was Stallone's relentlessness in both getting the film made in the first place and then in making sure he starred as the Italian Stallion that stood out as the real genuinely impressive feat. Number 9. Ed Harris is brought in late. The Truman Show Though at this point, no one could honestly imagine sitting through the Jim Carrey starring comedy drama The Truman Show without experiencing Ed Harris's compelling performance as the show's executive producer, Christoph. There was a time when another actor was set to take up this particular mantle. In fact, Dennis Hopper actually spent a whole two days shooting the movie before some apparent creative differences led to his immediate exit from the project. So Harris was reportedly considered for the role as he lived nearby and was available to shoot. The actor would only have a matter of days to get into the mind of Kristoff, admitting that this lack of prep time actually helped in the long run, as it meant he had to rely massively on instinct. Then, after filming for just 10 days, Harris was done and dusted on the project, taking home a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor for his troubles. Not bad for a last-minute substitute, right? Number 8. Leonardo DiCaprio Battles Hypothermia the Revenant. In order to translate the hostile environment the likes of Hugh Glass and John Fitzgerald were occupying in South Dakota towards the end of 1823 to cinema screens, the Revenant director Alejandro G. Inaritu dragged his famous stars into the fierce cold of Calgary in Alberta, Canada, and a few other treacherous locations to shoot. Throughout the feature, we see Leonardo DiCaprio's Glass put himself through hell to get revenge on Tom Hardy's Fitzgerald for killing his son. However, the star himself also had to battle through some potentially deadly scenarios in order to bring Glass to life on screen. DiCaprio has gone on record to state that 30 to 40 sequences he filmed during the shoot were some of the most difficult things he's ever had to do, with the actor getting into and out of frozen rivers, sleeping in animal carcasses, eating a raw bison liver, and constantly trying to stave off hypothermia during and in between scenes. People may dispute whether or not this should have been the performance which finally landed DiCaprio his long-awaited Academy Award for Best Actor. But you can't say he didn't earn it. Number 7. Gal Gadot powers through reshoots while being pregnant. Wonder Woman. Filming intense action scenes can be physically grueling and a little bit stressful at the best of times. So imagine throwing your body into the middle of a World War I battle zone all whilst being five months pregnant. Sounds pretty crazy to me. Gal Gadot had already managed to make it through her shots for the impending Justice League film whilst in the early stages of her pregnancy. Yet by the time the reshoots for Wonder Woman came around, she was noticeably carrying around another little human. So the VFX team were on hand to 
disguise her baby bump, placing an isolated piece of green screen cloth on her stomach for the scenes, and digitally flattening her tummy in post-production. Even with that VFX wizardry though, Godot still had to perform in some arduous sequences at a time when she must have been anything but comfortable. So there you have it, Gal Gadot is a real-life Wonder Woman. Number 6, Michael J. Fox juggles two projects at once. Back to the Future. He may be synonymous with the role of Marty McFly today, but many moons ago, Michael J. Fox was forced to pass up on the leading role in Back to the Future due to scheduling conflicts with the sitcom Family Ties he was already starring in. So, Eric Stoltz was brought in instead. However, director Robert Zemeckis and executive producer Steven Spielberg both soon sensed that Stoltz's intense approach to the character just wasn't working out. So, a couple of months into shooting, Fox was switched into the lead role role instead. Yet the actor would have to continue working on family ties whilst filming Back to the Future. This resulted in a schedule which would regularly see Fox working from 10am to 6pm on the sitcom before travelling to the movie shooting location to continue filming there. Weekends were even more gruelling as family ties aired in front of a live studio audience, pushing Back to the Future's schedule back, meaning Fox would only finish up at around 7am. Despite calling the routine exhausting on the Understandably so, the actor still classes the tiring workload as worth it, with those who still adore his turn in the classic today likely agreeing with him. Number 5. Naomi Harris films her entire role in three days due to visa issues. Moonlight As we noted in a previous entry, sometimes actors are not given very much time at all to immerse themselves in a character's world before bringing their work onto a set to shoot. However, Naomi Harris took this rushed approach to a whole new level during the making of Barry Jenkins' Moonlight. The star was having some visa issues at the time, which meant that the only way she'd be able to appear in the movie was if she dropped her promotional responsibilities for the latest James Bond movie, Spectre, and completed her work on the project within three days. No pressure then. On top of knowing she had to hit the ground running with the role of Paula, Harris's job was made that much harder by the fact that the crew had to shoot her scenes out of sequence. This meant she was forced to sporadically jump between different ages, and her difficult stages in her character's life, such as being deep into her crack addiction in one moment and experiencing rehab the next. Needless to say, Harris absolutely knocked it out of the park in such a ridiculously short space of time, earning herself an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Number 4. Martin Sheen had a heart attack mid-shoot. Apocalypse Now Shooting a film about the harrowing reality of war is never going to be a laid-back and breezy experience. The hell Martin Sheen went through when playing Captain Benjamin L. Willard in Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now was in a league of its own. After being brought in as Harvey Keitel's last-minute replacement, the stress of the infamously chaotic production eventually began to eat away at the actor, who was already fighting his own personal drink-related demons at the time. This all led to the moment when he suddenly suffered a legitimate heart attack and nervous breakdown midway through filming, resulting in the star being rushed to an intensive care unit. Despite Despite this life-threatening event though, Sheen would eventually return to the set a few weeks later and finished up filming for a feature which would go on to be recognized as one of the finest movies ever made. Number 3. Jim Carrey underwent CIA torture training the Grinch. Just because you agree to appear in a family-friendly feature film doesn't mean the experience itself is going to be a joyous occasion. After being buried alive in makeup for eight and a half hours on his first day on The Grinch, Jim Carrey knew he was in for a rough old ride from there on out. In fact, the costume was so claustrophobic for the star that he outright told director Ron Howard that he would have to exit the project once that initial day of filming had concluded. So the producers brought in someone from the CIA who ex excelled in training agents how to withstand excruciating torture. Despite the actor himself branding the training as being quite hilarious, it undoubtedly gave him the tools he needed to power through the shoot and produce a performance that is still cherished by fans two decades later. But let the record show, it's not that easy being green. Number 2. Laurence Olivier played Dr. Cell whilst receiving heavy treatment for cancer 
Marathon Man. Coming into the making of 1976's Marathon Man, legendary thespian Sir Laurence Olivier was convinced that he didn't have much time left due to the cancer he was fighting against at that time. That was his major reason behind taking the role of Nazi war criminal Dr. Christian Sell in the first place, as the star wanted to leave behind the money made on this job to his family. His illness made working on the film an understandably difficult task, with the star undergoing treatment and taking a heavy dose of painkillers in order to get himself through the working day. However, in the end, he was able to overcome these monumental obstacles to deliver a turn which garnered much critical acclaim, and even earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Most remarkable of all, though, the actor was then able to kick his cancer into remission and continue to work in the industry for the next 13 years. Now that's what you call inspiring. Number 1. Every Chadwick Boseman Performance After Being Diagnosed With Colon Cancer In 2016 The world was left completely stunned in August 2020, when news of the sudden death of the fiercely talented Chadwick Boseman reverberated around the globe. Yet those closest to the actor were well aware that he'd been battling against colon cancer since 2016. With that in mind, once the nature of his tragic demise was made known to the general public, fans came to appreciate his stunning work over the last few years of his life that little bit more. During that time, Bozeman was able to play the first African-American Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall on the big screen, an NYPD detective in 21 Bridges, storming Norman Earl in Spike Lee's The Five Bloods, trumpeter Levy Green in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and dramatically changed the game as the Black Panther during various appearances in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To do all that whilst tackling a serious illness is nothing short of heroic, and only adds to the untouchable legacy of a talent who was unquestionably taken from us way too soon.